Welcome back. So in this video, we are going to talk about section three of your grade 12 advanced book, creating the space rocket chassis. So if you go to the book and then go on with the pages, you will see a few activities which you have to complete. And the second activity is to measure the components which are in the project kit and then note down the values. So once you have noted them down, you have to sketch uh, sketch a chassis idea where you can uh, place the components according to your wish with uh, keeping in mind that uh, 140 millimeter is a maximum printing length then go on over here you have to give the measurements of your chassis i'm gonna give this as 130 millimeter this as 110 millimeter and the thickness is gonna be 50 millimeter let's go on here so first we need to create this chassis so in order to get it done let's go to fusion uh, make sure you know how to save the file. Let's choose this one. I'm gonna save somewhere over space from the main as chassis. That's done. So I'm gonna save this as chassis. Let's go to create sketch over here. Choose the bottom face. I've got this over here. Next is sketch rectangle, center rectangle. Make sure to click on the center point over here, which is zero zero, and then. Uh, this is going to be 110 millimeter. This is going to be 130 millimeter. Press enter. You've got it done. Then click on the home. Go to create, extrude, or you can press E on your keyboard. Click on the space. Type in 50 millimeter. So you've got this done. Now we need to shell this inside. So let's go to modify shell. Click on the top face, and then give the inside thickness to be around 3 millimeter. Click OK. Then we need to do fillet on the edges. For that, go to modify, fillet, or press F. Go to this, rotate a bit over here, over here, and here. So you got four edges selected. Let's zoom in a bit and see which measurements do we need. Two or a three. Yeah, I think I will go with a three. I've got this fillet here on three. Now I need to do for the bottom. Yeah. So again, modify, fillet, choose the bottom line, put in three. And then press enter so you've got the fillet done so as we see over here we got it done now we need to add point i mean holes to put the leds so for that let's go to sketch uh point i'm going to choose this face which is the uh, right face over here so I choose this one and then i'm gonna put uh instead of point let's first do a construction line so go to sketch line Make sure the sketch palette is open. If it's minimized, make sure to click on this one and maximize it. Choose the construction line. And then from over here, I'm going to draw a straight line until here. Keeping in mind the degree is zero. Yeah. Keeping in mind the degree is zero and then press the tab. And then now you have got a straight line. I click over here. Uh, we need to make sure this is 10 millimeter from the top. Right click on this line, sketch sketch dimension or you can press D on your keyboard so I choose this one along with this one there's gonna be 10 millimeters now I'm gonna sketch points on this line so I go to sketch I go to point I click somewhere over here as well as somewhere over here so I've got two points right click right click on the point sketch sketch dimension and then from the top already it's 10 so i'm gonna choose the outside line over here and then i type in as 15 same for this one from the outside it's going to be 15 yeah now i could create hole i choose these two points over here make sure the extent is set to all all type is simple all tab type is simple and then it's uh, drill point is on an angle the diameter should be 5 millimeter. I click OK. So when you go back to home, you see from this sketch, they made a hole on the other side. That's why we chose the extent as all. Once that's done, next is to create hole on the bottom face for the wires and switches. So go to create sketch, choose the bottom face, rotate it 90 degree so we have the 110 millimeter here 130 over here yeah so go to sketch point i sketch up two points actually not a one point two points along this green line which is the center somewhere over here here and another point somewhere on the bottom right so i've got three points 
uh, I press escape I can either click D on your key on the keyboard or right click on the point sketch sketch uh, and then go to sketch dimension and then from the outside line it's gonna be 10 millimeter yeah this is gonna be 10 millimeter yep and then over here this point and this outside line it's gonna be 10 millimeter again which is good uh, and then this point is gonna be 15 millimeter from the outside right and then this is going to be 15 from the outside yeah so that is done now again we have to make holes so create go to hole choose the three points you just created same as before extend set it as all diameter five millimeter the remaining things are the same click on ok so we've got the three holes done that's it for now. Now we need to create screw mount on the top surface. Now create the screw mount on the top surface. Let's go to create sketch. Zoom in to the top surface. Home button, top, rotate it 90 degree clockwise. 110 millimeter over here. 130 millimeter over here. Now I go to sketch arc center point up and then i click on the midpoint over here i go six millimeter towards the left press enter press enter once again and then bring all the way here until it touches 180 degree on the other side yeah so i've got the arc done now i need to sketch a point over here so sketch point and i place the point along the red line somewhere over here yeah so i got the point now I press escape on ESC or the escape button on the keyboard right click then right click on the point sketch sketch dimension inside line outside line right so click on the inside line and make sure it's two millimeter from the inside for so the point here once that's done I go I click on the home button zoom into the arc I created I go to create extrude I choose this one and towards the down. See now that point I an mean, arrow mark is pointing upward. So in order to go downward, you can type minus 10. So it goes down 10 millimeter. Yeah. And then make sure the operation is set as join and then click OK. So I've got this over here. Now that the point that you created is missing, that's because if you go to the sketch. It's hidden over here. To bring them back the point, click on this bulb so the point is over here. Yeah. Once that's done, go to uh, create, hold, choose this point, the one that you made, I mean, plotted recently. Click on the point and then choose extent from distance, make it to two. And then the hole type is simple, hole tap type is simple, drill point is angled and then diameter should be 2 millimeter but since you chose 2 it's basically from this point until which uh, another point yeah so I click on this one so I'm choosing from this point until this side so the hole is made from the top until the bottom and then I click OK so I've got the hole over here if you look from the top you will see it let's go on yeah this is the hole that I created now Now what I can do is I can hide the sketch and you will see the all much clearer. So once that's done, now we need to mirror it so that our uh, chassis is done. So in order to get it done, let's go to create mirror and instead of pattern from faces, I'm going to choose features and then I will click over here and this one. And then for the mirror plane, I'm going to choose this one over here. Then I click OK. So I've got this from this side onto this side, and that's your chassis done. 